Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Ass Effect. And uh, yeah, so we're back, and I'm gonna go to. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Fuck. All right, what do we get? What do we get here? Anderson, come talk to me on the Citadel. Uh, Loric is a planet here. Guess we gotta pl do that. Uh, actually, you know what? When I just skim through them, it tells me this shit anyway, so it's all good. I probably should have looked more at the things, but that's okay. Fine, we'll fucking just... I, I don't know I don't know if I want to just stop and look at all of them. I really don't, because, like, you know, I, I remember reading enough email. So we're just going to do that. There. Okay, so now that we, we read them already. See, it says unread. Is there, was there, like, a... See, it says unread, but it doesn't go away, so I guess I have to mark it as read. Alright, well, we'll just do this. I'll just spam click this. That's what's required. Alright. What the fuck? Go away, team. Alright, alright, all right. there you go. Alright, that, that works. So probably should have done that. Alright, so the first things first. Um, apparently this matters. Um, so I, I, I kind of like didn't read any of this because I'm like, what's the point of this? But actually this is what it does here. Heavy weapon ammo, shields and health. There's a regeneration bonus, storm speed and health. Fucking up. Wait, sorry, I'm not supposed to be negative anymore because uh, uh, someone didn't like the fact that I was criticizing the game too much and also sarcastically uh, talking shit about the game. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be positive now. So I'm positively sure that this armor looks like fucking garbage. Um, negotiation bows. Uh, I'm pretty positive that that's fucking garbage. But now nah, I'm just joking. Uh, what the fuck is this music? I'm positive I want to turn this off. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I'm fucking done, don't worry. Alright, so, uh, this one increases health by a certain percentage. The problem is I'm gonna be walking around with, like, health and the, the, this fucking weird-ass armor. Listen, listen, okay. I wouldn't be playing this game if I didn't like it. Like, you know, to some extent, at least, so. Do I want to look like, uh, except the XCOM 2 soldiers is the question. Uh... Headshot damage by five percent, weapon damage by three. Yeah, but it's like it, I look. I have a. I look like I'm from Spaceballs. Like, whatever. We'll just we'll use this one because it's headshot damage. So Kestrel stealth is melee weapon damage and stuff. Oh, capacitor chest plate. Reduces delay before your shields start regenerating. Okay, well, I guess we'll do that one maybe. I mean, weapon damage is really nice though. Maybe we'll do the weapon damage. Kestrel stealth. Alright, we really don't need, we really don't need, like, things that are, like, um, melee damage, so. Because, you know, you know, because of all the meleeing I've been doing. I guess we'll do this one. Why is Kestrel so much into freaking meleeing? Shield strength by 3%. Or 8%, alright. Some nice legs. Alright, the rest of this doesn't matter. Alright, there you go. Alright. Medal of Honor. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. All right. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. I get like a it's really big quarters. quarters. Other warships I've served on. Oh yeah. There you go. Vessel. This not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. Bed. This space is directly under the exterior pressure hull. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Yeah, but it's huge. Like bigger than engineering bay, honestly. Speaking of engineering bay, let's go talk to them about the the stupid shit we gave them. I've got green across the board. Y'all the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Uh, fuck. I'll play poker, fine. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. You know, beating your superior officer at poker would be a bad career move. Uh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Easy money. Nice playing, Commander. Shepard's <laughs> teasing really threw you off. 
You mean that pulling rank shit wasn't serious? Oh man, I can't believe I fell for that. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. What can we do for you, Commander? Alright, there's nothing else here. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Easy money. Easy. Alright, let's, um... Get the fuck out. I don't really want to talk to anyone else. Actually, wait. I, I just noticed that the FOV... Like, I, I noticed it when my eyes just, like, kind of, like, start, like, doing this thing where... Because the thing is, like, it's meant to be kind of played, like, like, you know, from a TV halfway across the room, right? So... You know, this might sound really weird, but... Um... How the fuck did I get off the ship last time? I, I thought that was the place where you do that. I'll be I'll be perfectly honest. I, I maybe I do it from here. Cause it, it brought me back to the ship, and I I kind of want to go back here. Dock. Oh, we we were undocked. Huh. All right, I'm gonna bring Garrus along and. I mean, what does he have? It costs a shot overload, armor piercing ammo. Well, it doesn't. She has overload too, right? Yeah, so we don't really need her. But I hate Jacob, so. Because he's a filthy human. I guess we gotta take the, the kind of. Actually, dude, dude, we can have two people with sniper rifles. Oh, dude, that actually sounds pretty baller. Alright, um, I have two points, but I'm gonna actually save those for. I'm gonna get more points in Tactical Cloak. I. Now, this may be kind of. A weird strategy, but I think I'm gonna save. Um, the cryo ammo doesn't seem that bad, um, but since I can only have one armor, uh, so one ammo uh, ability uh, active at once, I'd rather just make. Uh, I'd rather just make uh, this. This should. Um, I'd rather just max this out and probably just skip cryo ammo until very late in the game. Um, cause like, that's the thing is, do I really want to be swapping, swapping between them? At least disruption ammo is good against shield as well, shields as well. Crown ammo is like, um, I don't know. Ammunition freezes targets more frequently. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't have like a, a perfect solution here, but you know, whatever. Alright, let's see, Garrus. Uh, no, this is not Garrus. You look a lot uglier than Garrus. I guess he should use some disruption ammo. Yeah, let's just give him a rank in that. And Garrus, how have you been, my old friend? Uh, I would love... Oh, but he's not loyal, so he can't actually have armor-piercing ammo. Here's my question. If I get the... I knew that there was a squad thing, and someone actually told me that the... It was actually... The squad was a bonus thing. I knew it came from somewhere. I, 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 sometimes I confuse Mass Effect 3 in this game, but... Because uh, uh, they're... Um, I hate to say it, pretty similar in a lot of ways. Uh, at least with the interface and stuff. Not, not the story, obviously, but... Uh, it's got, like, as, like... Uh, okay, compared to Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2, those are radically different. Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 are relatively similar, so that, that's that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. And if that triggers you, whatever, fuck off. Um, so, here's a question. I guess we go for Overload. How much points do we want in this? I guess a lot. Whatever, we'll just do that. Just because Garrus is like, is our friend. Uh, so he chooses this rifle. He chooses this one. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Heavy rifle. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I don't think I really care what they use. So we're fine. Warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Alright. So I think where we have to go is the shuttle to the quarantine zone. So we'll, we'll go get uh, your old Mortis next. Because he is our best friend. I like Garrus though. Pre access denied. Really? I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. 
Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Talok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? Uh, I probably shouldn't bring him along. It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. Alright, the, sen the sensible thing is not to actually take him along, though. So... Uh... I guess we'll bring her, since she's very basically the same thing. Sort of. More biotic, though. I need a more biotic team, because I'm... I'm very... tech-heavy. Do you have anything good? Um, I guess. Whatever, I'll just fucking wait for this ability. I don't care. Alright, let's go. Can I, can I swap their weapons? Oh yeah, they only get two weapons though. Wait, she can have a machine pistol and a heavy pistol. Wow. Okay. I'm hoping they make some good decisions on their own though. But I'm gonna guess they don't. Oh, uh, looks like I have to uh, activate ammo. Apparently, I have to do that for every single weapon. Because, uh, you know, Bioware. Bioware is a fantastic company. I would never say anything bad about them. I don't know what you guys are talking about. And I think I'm not. Oh, I am. I am actually uh, FOB fixed. Alright. Alright, let's go kill some zombies. I mean. Don't shoot. To come in. Ah. We're not allowed in there, I guess we're not. Hey guys. Delicious meta gel. Good luck in there. The blue suns and Vorcha shooting anything that moves. Because I would have to kill them before. Oh, the Gozu district, of course. Are, are these guys... Oh. Are they enemies? Yeah, they're enemies. Uh, so I th that looked like an explosive barrel, though. Great control at its most basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. I human should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <coughs> looking for a slayer. I need to find Morton Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you. <laughs> Damn it! Damn you! Can't! <laughs> yeah, fuck this guy. 
I doubt he could have helped us anyway. Uh, I actually probably should have helped him out. I mean, there's really no there's no downside to doing uh, not doing the, the interrupts, honestly. I, I don't know, I'll probably do them more often. Whatever. Actually, wait, no, he has a PDA here. I, I'm, oh, good. 2,000 credits. I'm glad I let him die. Fuck that guy. Oh, go, okay, let's do a hack here. Oh, like more credits. Nice. Alright, medical... mechanical sciences. Sorry. I misread that. Well. Just some power cells. I guess I'll just bypass the door. Like, there's so many... there's actually so many mini-games in this game. I'd rather just play the game. He tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Sad story for that guy. We got the we got the loot room of, of story. Good times. Apartments. Oh dude, time to loot. Hell yeah. I love looting things. Starve? I don't know, I guess he starved. Kind of shitty apartment, though. Well, that's why you keep a, a ton of food in your apartment. Uh-uh. Alright, let's see. Let's, uh... Maybe over here is a better angle. Trouble ahead! Lost contact! Like, they don't even- they're not even engaged with me. Look out, you spread the flag. Uh, uh, cover. Uh, Lost contact. Like they don't see me, but they they react to my losing my my cloak. Yeah, Alright. Where are my allies? Are they helping? Oh, he's nice. I need some bitches. Fuck yeah. Is he trying to long range me with the shotgun? I mean, I'm trying to long range him with the pistol, but I don't. I, I actually don't know what's more insulting, honestly. They seem to have a bias for shooting at me, though. It's okay. We we increased our. Okay, good. Actually, wait. Miranda was up here. 
And there's firing an imp imp impact shot, man. All right, cool. I love that guy. Actually, I don't, but uh, you guys won't know the difference. So yeah, I got I got some two very accurate weapons. This is, and this is, I think, kind of the one of the. Okay, fine. This is. Well, I'm positively sure this is one of the flaws in the game, where uh, I mean. It lost its its flexibility with the weapons that you use because I'm I'm now just like kind of I mean I'm an infiltrator I'm long range I want the the things that do a high amount of damage in one shot There's not much in terms of like flexibility with that you know because that's just what I'm gonna want to do. It's oh there we go modified assault rifle. We can use this. Uh, well I want to check out the other place first because that looked like a door I could open. I mean, because I'm gonna just find the things that do the most damage, basically. I mean, it's also the way I play games. I'm, you know, sniper shit, you know. Come on. Come on now. Alright, hello, who's home? Alright, come in pieces. Oh, thank God, you're human. Oh, refugees. Oh, that door open. We thought those Turians had found us. Hey, nice digs. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Is what I hear right? That this plague doesn't affect humans? No. It seems like some kind of bioweapon or something. Since it affects so many different species, the Blue Suns figure humans caused it. They're shooting us on sight. God knows how many have already died. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns' territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Alright, I just want to mention that that black bar is that you keep seeing. Um, that, like, behind the text. It's, I am accidentally, through using my mouse, I am selecting the text in the subtitles. And I can remove that when I get to like a, a dialogue option like this. What? I'm selecting the subtitles. Huh. Uh, very well programmed. Yeah. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorta. Sure. A doctor with military grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. 
Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. Cowering in this apartment might keep you alive for a while, but if the mercs don't get you, starvation will. Easy for you to say. You're a soldier armed to the teeth. We're just ordinary people. Yeah, you're making it out like we're cowards or something. A coward accepts death instead of fighting to stay alive. If you want to survive, you're gonna have to earn it. I'm taking out every Vorchim Blue Suns group I find along the way to Morden's clinic. But I can't hold your hand while I'm waging war in the streets. Yeah, okay. I guess if you can clear a path, we can follow. Like you said, it's our only chance. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Alright. Oh. Wall safe? <coughs> Easy money. But, oh, apparently I can't take my guns out now. Uh, it's probably because there's uh, people down there. They don't want me shooting them. By accident. There you go, now they come out. Like I said, I thought that selecting the subtitles thing was odd, but you gotta wonder how much they really gave a shit about. Oh, hey. Okay. Fuck, Pyros. Why did I help the Pyros? I'm a disgrace. And that, that pet back there seems very confused. We're just gonna look at him for a while. Let's bring out the sniper scope so we can definitely look at that. Bioware's finest creation. I got him. Enemy down. I probably should use the actual heavy pistol. That actually has range on it. Do we, do we just like hit a wall with that? I, I, I don't know. Okay. That one. But yeah, I use a cloak mostly as a damage boost and to reposition. Fine, I'll use it to reposition. Oh yeah, I could go up there, huh. Because the thing is, why would I want to get closer? Okay, maybe I don't want to be here. <laughs> there you go, repositioned. You know, this seems like a job for a uh, singularity launcher here. Oh, we don't want it again. That was another one. Uh, just keep coming. Actually, wait, there's a explosive barrel. No, that's not an explosive barrel, actually. I missed. We lost. Uh, we're, oh, wait, there's ammo here. Nice. Oh, he actually hit that one. Nice. That was another one. It looks like he's coming for me, too. Actually, it looks like he just gives up on me, anyways. So can I see if, yeah, I can actually see that Miranda's down. Miranda got down. It's gonna ask, like, can I see your health? And yeah, I can. I kinda need ammo. Is there more? Really? Try to get sniper ammo here. Blue 
sons have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. Oh, Zaid, the Edge Lord. Also, uh, apparently they didn't want to make maps for everything. They just want to tell me where the objective is. I don't need to know that information. What was over here? Oh, this this goes up to the second floor where you can just start fighting immediately. I see. You know, in case you want to do that. I guess we'll check in what's uh what's through this door. But I think we should do that next time, so thanks a lot for watching and take care. Goodbye.